thank you for being with us. We're into 2022. It's going to be another massive year for Peace Parks and Peace Parks TV. Why don't you just tell us, tell the audience a few of the things that you're looking forward to uh, and aspiring to over the course of the next 12 months? Yeah, it is indeed going to be a massive year. I think we we um, excited to have a full year, hopefully in 2022. That is, you know, not going to be impacted on by COVID. I think, as as the rest of the world <laughs> is looking forward, so it's not only us; it's it's everybody. Um, so 2022 is going to be a massive year. Zinov National Park. What's going to happen? What can we look forward to? It will be part of the largest translocation of giraffe. Uh, ever undertaken. So that's something to look forward to. We will uh, reintroduce more lion, which I think is also quite exciting. We've got two, but they're pretty lonely, so they need some companions. We're also partnering with the Hunger Project and launching a community development program, which creates these epicenters that is a mechanism to help with food security for people living around the park. Banheen National Park is also a really interesting park. Tell us a bit about what we can look forward to in 2022. So Banheen National Park is, is actually a, a, a very special place. It's 725,000 hectares or 7,000 square kilometers to give. It's massive. It is enormous. Uh, it's this huge wetland park, very inaccessible. What we're looking for, we're very excited about is signing a, a long-term co-management agreement with the government of Mozambique. So we've been supporting the park for a number of years. And then the rollout of a, quite an extensive community development program around the park. That's definitely for us a highlight, specifically focusing on cattle herding, working with communities and enabling them to, to look after their cattle in a way that is good for the environment, but also where they're protected from predators. So that's a massive program that we're launching. And we have a five-year window with support of the of the Common Foundation. So we definitely will look forward to signing the long-term co-management agreement, supporting the ongoing rehabilitation of the park, bringing in wildlife, but also then launching a, a long-term community development program, multifaceted community development program that's focused on, on food security um, for, for people living around the park. Very, very poor, impoverished uh, region of Mozambique. So it's, it's a actually a very important project as well. Limpopo National Park, um, apart from having a great sounding name, is also a really uh, amazing, uh, diverse landscape. Tell us a little bit about Limpopo for 2022. So Limpopo National Park is a is a, a one million hectare park, ten thousand square kilometer park. It's huge. Uh, it's half the size of Kruger National Park, or half the size of a country like Israel. To give it a little bit of context, in Limpopo Park, we are basically just continuing to do what we've been doing, and that's um, you know continuing with the community support program. And these village development nodes has been really an important part of the program, um, and. So there's just a continuation of, of that and that ongoing support to people around the park with food security, with the Herding for Health program, with agriculture, just continuing to, to grow that and, and, and build on that. Um, so that's one aspect. The other aspect is obviously continue to expand the conservation state in the park. This is a park that it's because it's so big, it takes a long time to rehabilitate and, and to get all the building blocks in place. So it's not a park where we say, well, from next year on, there's not going to be, you know, increased tourism and increased revenue and, and sustainability. Probably not. But this is because the size is obviously a much longer aspiration to get to a point of sustainability. So it's just keep on keeping on creating the wildlife product, improving infrastructure and, and, and growing the community development support uh, program. So and now I'd like to just talk a little bit about Maputo Special Reserve. Tell us a little bit about that um, in 2022. Mapuri Special Reserve received its first cheetah in 2021. But in 2022, we're going to continue with that program. So ultimately, we, we are planning to have a population of about between 30 and 50 cheetah in the reserve because that's what the reserve can, can sustain quite easily because of the prey base. So next year will be some more release of cheetah uh, into reserve, which of course is very exciting. And then also very exciting will be the opening of a 80-bed lodge on a beautiful site on the sea. And it is a two 
star facility. And so it actually caters for people who want to have a wonderful experience, but also a very affordable experience. But it will open up the park to a segment of tourists that we really would like to see there. So that's definitely a highlight is the opening of the first two-star facility on the coast in 2022. Sioma Nguesi, tell us a little about that in 2022. Sioma Nguesi is a park that's just over, together with the, the game management area, just over um, a million hectares. 10,000 square kilometers. We've been working quite hard with the government of Zambia to enter into a long-term co-management agreement. It's a 25-year uh, agreement. The idea of the agreement is to create a special purpose vehicle that is a partnership between the community, the NGOs and government that oversees the management and development of this national park. So that's in the pipeline to be signed. And with that, there's a significant amount of money that's gonna be unlocked from various donors to rehabilitate and rewild this park and restore it to its, its former glory. So it's, it's a huge, huge, exciting opportunity to test this model in Zambia, where we have what we call integrated co-management and the creation of a special purpose vehicle, in this case, a trust, where all the partners then uh, sit at a board level, uh, but you've got one management team that's, that doesn't have a brand or a logo of any particular organization. It's it, because it's a partnership. So we look forward to see how that will roll out in 2022. Boise Marsh Wildlife Reserve and Nika National Park. What are the plans for 2022? So Nika and Vaza together is about uh, 4,000 square kilometers, these two parks. Incredibly important, especially Nika, as it is this highland plateau national park sitting above two, two and a half thousand uh, meters above sea level. So you've got this a really wet, almost Scotland type of rolling hills, grasslands with a, with a rainfall of close to 2000 millimeters per year. And the rain is incredibly important, it feeds into the Lake Malawi on the Malawi side and into the Luangwa River on the, on the Zambian side. So ecologically very important park. We've been supporting the government of Malawi for many years now to slowly rehabilitate the park. And then with the support of the German government that was given a significant boost and a significant investment in community development program, wildlife conflict fences being erected around Fuaza, a system where over 12,000 people now get potable water from the park, and then the rehabilitation of all the infrastructure in the park has been ongoing. And next year is exciting because we're signing a 20-year agreement with the government of Malawi to, to co-manage the park. Um, these two parks actually um, and again it will be the creation of a special purpose vehicle or a special management entity which is a partnership between government and peace parks to oversee the development of these two protected areas so it's going to be a really really exciting year next year. Wagner, thank you so much for that. Um, long may it continue and very excited so look out for that. Thank you, yeah I look forward to seeing it myself. <laughs>